Most of you went outside and saw this amazing tiger tank. Um, our next two speakers aren't so much giving presentations, are more just telling you just very sort of briefly about their experience with working with SolidWorks and how it's made their lives easier. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Jared. But before I, I have to say this, he will show you he has a, a, a fabulous book on the entire experience. But keep in mind that in 2003, this gentleman said, I'm going to put this together as a little quick project. Ten years later, and I love, I mean, it's so clever. Everything about it is so bigger than life. But I love the dedication in the book. It says, to my gorgeous wife, Anne, who long ago gave up asking, how much did that cost? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Jared B. We conform to that 
fin stand where you name all of your operating systems after German World War II aircraft, <laughs> and name all of your games after German World War II weapons, which made it quite, makes it quite interesting to see all the equipment over in Germany. And it took me about three months before they finally realised. Somebody said, hey, what is this? <laughs> it's a light voice. We just said it's coincidence. <laughs> uh, 20, we did 20% of turnover, KPG reckon it's a record, our count records complete waste of money, but we've got no choice, we've got to stay here. We charge more than our German and English opposition, the only way to buy it is going to be better. And that's where SolarWorks comes in, because how many revisions do we need in Nicola? I've got Nicola here with me, he's young engineer. Somebody told me he's one of the best SolarWorks engineers in the world, I was thinking who it was, I just remember Peter. But no, he's pretty good, he's a bit of a hot shot. And, and he's from RIT, not on tape course. We had a Monash boy start the other day, slipped under my guard, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. So you'll notice up there we're very different. There's no PCs, Windows, industrial, bus systems or PLCs in our equipment. But because that really upsets all the suppliers because we do it all ourselves. Then that means nobody can copy our electronics, nobody can cut our code. All our code, all that stuff there's code. And you see the girls there? Uh, that was a, a promo shot. I don't know. So that's our mission statement. It's on the wall. <laughs> I'm serious. Some people think it's a little bit confronting, but we mean it. So we go in, head, help the leather, total wall. So our technology, we measure 0.1 micron on cans, uh, super precision scanning metals. You see the graphs there? All that graphing there is us. There's no Billy Gates stuff in there. There's no. Linux, what else is this stuff? There's no Apple, is there? No, just, just our boys and girls who did a code down at first off. We did precision crushing and testing, and our automatic coaches are, a lot of them are world leaders. Okay, so here we come to the SolarWorks pit. Uh, we did complete in house mechanical design using AutoCAD. Sorry, that was a joke, that was just Steve, the CX Steve. That's SolarWorks. Uh, so what we did is when we invented, we claim we invented this, we tell everybody we don't care because nobody can prove us wrong. We invented the tap, and, tap system where you get the solid, the metal, and you cut a slot and you click it in. It's about 2000. And before that, we tried bending stuff. Now these guys were talking about bending stuff. Well, I'm telling you, there's no way it's illegal in our company to bend anything because you don't know where it's going to end up. So we just do lock and tap with laser cutting. It means that we can connect everything together very quickly and big weld it, and it's one of our big advantages. So wherever we can, we use SolidWorks, a powerful tool to do laser cutting to replace machine components. Because we've got to do that to keep our cost down, because uh, up there in China, they're copying us, and I'll tell you what, it's, it's on for young and old. Um, so yeah, so it's a slot and tab, and also you'll see that engine there. Now that's not in the Tiger, that's a real full scale Engine, I'm going to make a motorcycle engine, I'm going to do it the same way the way I know, which is to use a slot and tap system to build a 1400cc supercharged V12 motorcycle engine. And the great thing about the solar works is, I think that Nick's getting all excited over there, because he was looking at, what were they talking about, Nick? Something about versions and laps and... Yeah, automatic upgrading of versions. Yeah. That's so all, I use SolarWorks, but I remember the old school of SolarWorks back in the good old days, you just made a measurement and stuff it. But uh, these boys, they get excited when they get there, and it's a very big, integral part of our export uh, bush. And I think that's it. That's it. That's it, thank you. No worries.